Hello everybody, I'm Phil. I'm Diba. And welcome to our whiskey mystery number something, quite high. 20s, 30s maybe. Anyway, our highest bottle is now up to number 37. Number 34, it has come to the end of its blind life. When we empty this bottle, we can put in a new one. And our new bottle is going to be Knob Creek nine-year-old. And this is, uh, yes, small batch, eight, nine, nine years, Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. And this was a gift from Tim, Donner Pass. Thanks, Tim. See if it can rescue our somewhat dismissive attitude to bourbon so far. <laughs> that one will be going in. So what we have on the table, number 34 is lemon pencil shavings. We'll come back to that one in a minute. Number 36 is actually a bit of a pencil theme here. Pencil case tea bag, because this tastes like everything that you would put in a pencil case. Pencils, erasers, <laughs> mints, <laughs> sweeties, <laughs> and uh, burnt things. I don't know. It's like you've made tea out of something like that, because this is, I'm getting ahead again. Pencil case tea. The newest one is, we've called it tin cup of bitter, which that sounds a bit mean. But have you you've been tasting them? I had a quick taste again. Okay, let's quickly talk about the, the new one. What did what did you get if you've been tasting it? But I'm tasting I was tasting some chili pepper. But at the same time, I got an animal sweet and it's beautiful. Very soft. The nose is better than the taste. It is kind of hay orange, but it's a bit spirity, isn't it? And it, it definitely has a harsh side to it. A little bit of candy and it's maybe very light sherry in there because it, it has a little bit of dark fruit but um it's almost uh, uh, old-fashioned whiskey an old-fashioned whiskey i don't know what an old-fashioned whiskey is very strong but not much of any other flavor apart from caramel there is a kind of softened yeah there's a bit of a metallic licorice thing going on in the finish. Um, it's a bit bitter and a bit harsh for me. So I'm just gonna go straight in and I'm here. By the way, thanks to Roman for the suggestion. He suggested that uh, we differentiate. So Deepa's now has a bit of bling. She's got a little red jewel on hers and mine do not. Okay. Um, let's go on to pencil case T for a minute. I'm a bit weary, no, wary of tasting this one because as soon as you taste this, it's hard to go on to the other. So I'm just going to do nose because I, I did have a taste earlier. But this is definitely ashy peat, maybe a little bit sherry as well. It's part of a beet. It's almost like sherry that have been, has mint dissolved in it because I got a really minty thing going on. Daddy, um, it's a bitter herbs. Yeah, bitter and herbs. I beef. So I'm not so happy about that for myself. It's, it's like menthol pencil erasers. <laughs> burnt sticks. Yeah, a little bit burnt sugar. Um, a bit green leaves and coffee grains. Uh, it's a bit of a challenge. It is over 48% as well. I actually quite like that, although uh, you need to be ready for a fight. But I'm not drinking it now because it will totally blast this away. Lemon pencil shavings. You know, we haven't even done the, the glass pour today, but you have a taste. Oh, it's much more... It's very like summery. Yeah. Pear, lemon, honey, a bit of hay. Watery, honey. It's a bit wood, wood spice as well. Actually, this has a little bit of pencil shavings about it, but this has the full on stewed pencil case. <laughs> pencil case stew might have been a better name for that one. Yeah, lemon pencil shavings is a pretty good, a pretty good name. It does, it does have a little bit of woodiness going on. It's getting a sort of fizzy, sparkly. 
Mm. Black grapes. White grapes. The skin? Yeah, the grape skin. It's the skin. I've said this is like powdered lemon rind. It's like the woodiness, as if you've dried out lemon rind and powdered it and then made a drink out of that. And it's still, even though it's been in here for weeks now, it's still quite tight and drying, isn't it? Pretty sparkly, spiky, fine pepper all the way through. I haven't tasted that yet, have I? Let me go for one. That's definitely not relaxing. <laughs> That's like a hard uphill run, and this one's more of a lie down by the pool. I, th I think I'm gonna go here today, which is good. Mm, now I need to start thinking what that one might be. Let's see. You're the same? All right. It is a... Uh, I was going to say anonymous vote, <laughs> unanimous. So, um, where would you rate it before we reveal? It's still about a week. So I will put maybe in the fridge over there. I've brought up Craig Ellicky because I want to, Craig Ellicky is kind of marking our halfway point. And oh, was there something? Oh, you're putting it down there. I wanted to see because Craig Ellicky is just a 13 year old. Um, but it is marking our halfway point of enjoyment right now. I'd say the Craig Allicky is easier. I think with a bit of water though, I would go a little ahead. I think I'm probably just ahead of Craig Allicky. It's giving me a more complexity. Yeah. More idricky. You make your guesses first this week. 48. Okay, you're going for 48 by itself. Age? Yeah, to Swerve. Probably space side. I think it's quite old because of the woodiness. Right. I'm thinking independent bottle like old malt cask. So I guess you're picking a different set to me this time. Mm. So you can pile yours up over there. Mm -hmm. Battle Blair? No, can't be a Battle Blair. Langerwollen. Oh, what's this? Oh, it could be that. That could be, a, it could be a long morn. What's this? 18 year old, Ben Nevis. I thought you said 15 year old. Yeah, but. I'm gonna go for the 21 year long morn as my primary guess. Okay, <laughs> as my primary guess, 18. All right, so deepest primary is the Ben Nevis, ben Nevis 18, and mine are going in this order. <laughs> <laughs> ABV, well you said 48, well it doesn't matter now I guess. ABV, 51.9, oh. the age is? Oh, 20. you're close. Oh, close, but not close but enough. But not close so far. It's good. Price, 109. Well, that's not bad. And that means that the score had to be a 90. Well, we didn't really give it a 90, did we? I don't think. Maybe. Uh, the region then. The region is a space side. Hey, we're doing pretty good. <laughs> but I'm doing better. <laughs> and the bottle is, oh no, oh, Glen Grant. Let's have a look. This is an independent bottle from Cadenhead. 20 years bottled from a bourbon hogshead, 51.9%. So it is cask strength, obviously natural color. At that price, you know, if you normalize this down to 40, that's only $84 at 40%, so that is a cheap bottle. I think this is a case where the the 20 years in the barrel has added quite a bit of woody pepper, pepperiness. But it also adds a complexity of flavors. That little coffee note is, is quite a nice contrast. So we are going to put Cadenhead up. Maybe it will squeeze in. New bottle going in. Got some color to it. It's minus 48 ABV. 